So we're in the uh, new laboratory for uh, bipedal locomotion. Our former robot, Mabel, is being packed up and shipped to the Chicago Field Museum. She became famous in 2011 when she ran a nine minute a mile clip. She was on CNN, the Discovery Channel, ESPN came to the lab to visit. You know, it's mixed emotions. I mean, I don't have children, but probably it's the same as a parent when they're sending the kid off to uh, college. You're proud that they're going off to college, but you've got a lot invested in them emotionally and you're sad to see them go. Should I start with hi? <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Marie Georg. I'm an exhibition developer here at the Field Museum, where we're standing right now near Sue, the uh, famous T-Rex. Uh, Mabel just arrived to us recently, and today was the day we actually opened up the boxes to see how Mabel fared in shipping. So we checked to make sure there was no damage, everything was good, and then our team also started in, uh, measuring and um, making a plan for how we can hold Mabel up safely in the exhibition and how we can transport Mabel from exhibition to exhibition from city to city safely. Mabel is a really cool robot that's going to help us show our visitors what kinds of um, applications the study of biomechanics can have for science. So the exhibition is all about how living things in nature work like machines. They have springs, they run, they swim, they use aerodynamics, all kinds of things like that, all the senses. The exhibition's gonna feature all kinds of natural history specimens, things like a taxidermy cheetah in the pose of running. There's gonna be skulls, bird specimens. There's also mechanical interactives that people can learn how a spider leg can extend through hydraulic pressure, like cutting edge prosthetic legs, swimming robots, flying robots. And then we're also showing how those things, that knowledge that we learn from nature can be used in machines. And Mabel is just one of those in the exhibition. Mabel in a museum never, never had the slightest iota of an inkling that that would happen. It was totally amazing. You go in there and there's families, fathers, grandfathers, young children, etc. going through and then I hope they find it inspiring. You know, I'm standing there, my face is on the actual display, they have no idea that it's me, and it was just really neat, okay, very surprisingly neat. Thank you.